here the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely little gift bag using supplies from our sponsor Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Actually the gift bag is pretty easy because it's just one of the coffee tin tie bags from Paper Mart and they come in white and craft and they're just such a wonderful staple to have around the craft room. Now we're going to use some organza ribbon today and you're going to want about two feet and this is the um, two and three quarter inch wide. You don't have to use ribbon this big. If you use um, narrower ribbon, you're going to have more of a tighter, smaller flower, which would be just as pretty. So go ahead and um, adjust it to what you like. Now, because it's organza ribbon, the edges are going to tend to want to fray on you because it's a really loose weave sheer fabric. So to combat that, I'm simply going to use this lighter and I'm just going to singe the edges just like that. Just run it across once and you'll be good. And you want to do that to each end. The thing you want to do is to get a needle and thread and I just use some pink thread to match my ribbon and you're going to, you want to put a knot on the end and I just have a single strand, don't need a double strand here and I'm just going along one of the edges of the ribbon and I am simply doing a very very loose basting stitch along the edge. You don't need any sewing experience for this. You're just basically making a ruffle or a gather along this edge. All right, we're nearing the end here. I'm doing the exact same stitch the whole way down, just a, just a basting stitch. And then when you pull it, you're gonna end up with this, almost like a little pom-pom. See, it's just like, it's just a very beautiful ruffle. So it's a very easy technique there. Now, um, you just kinda wanna pull it gently so that it all kinda wants to twirl in on itself. See, it kinda just makes a flower on its own. And then um, you just wanna tie it in a knot. And I like to just kind of fold it in half, just kind of grab the, grab the string, fold it in half, and then do a simple little knot. Okay, and then you can, you can uh, cut off the thread and put your needle in the pin cushion so you don't poke yourself with it later. And then we're going to work right on a gift bag, and I thought it would be pretty, since you saw the white already, to do the craft. And craft is so popular right now, it's so trendy, and um, it's very inexpensive to get craft colored projects. You've seen my big roll of craft paper downstairs in my studio, you know how much I enjoy working on it. I actually like to use craft cardstock for scrapbooking because it's such a... Um, it's such a versatile neutral. So I've rolled it down and obviously you'd fill it with your goodies first, but you don't have to fill your bags first. You can do that after the fact. And I'm just closing it up and I'm gonna work on this side. And um, you can use a big glue dot. I'm just gonna use a drop of hot glue since I have my glue gun right here. This is really good for like a, um, a summer wedding or some, some party where you want to have um, just a really nice natural natural decoration look. I am just going to get one end down in the glue and you can see how it just kind of gathers up on itself here. All right, and I'm just pulling the other end around and I'm gonna secure that with a drop of glue if it doesn't catch in that first little puddle there. But look how easy that is. You just, you pretty much just pull the threads and just make sure when you put your glue down that you're getting the ends caught in there and that's really all there is to it. Actually, I think that one little drop of glue was enough to grab both ends. Now, if you want to make a little green bow like I did, I just, I think it kind of reminds you of the leaves and is just pretty and so easy. You don't need a special tool. You don't need anything, really. Um, you want to cut off. Actually, you know what? I actually work on the spool. Okay, I just tie a little knot like I'm tying shoelaces. Okay. And then I tie a little bow. That's all there is to it. And you know, if you're gonna make a bunch of these for a party, then you want it to be simple. You want it to be something you can do easily. You can just you know, fuss it a little bit. And the reason I work off the spool is so that I don't have waste. And then when I notch the ends, I just fold it in half. And then I cut from the edge to the middle, just like that. And then you don't have any waste. And that gives you a perfect symmetrical bow. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Start at the edge, cut towards the middle. All right, organza cuts so easy. I think it's because it's synthetic. I don't even need to use my fabric shears for that. And then I can just kind of look at my look at my little flower, and I think I want to put it right there in the middle. You could also put a button in the middle. You could put a gem, um, a rhinestone, whatever you like. Remember, it's your creation. Um, you can make it suit the colors of your party. It's it's completely up to you. 
Now I love to make a custom tag because that way if you're giving out a party favor and it's going to be at the party for a while, you sometimes you want to write somebody's name on it. So I'm going to show you how I did this really simple little tag. And first I'm going to put a piece of just a piece of scrap paper down and we're working on just a basic unstrung merchandise tag and these come in a pack of a thousand this is the large size and it's going to be hard to see on the white paper so I just want to kind of tip it around so you can see the shape of it it's very pretty with a scallop top and poke your little uh center and you'll see one side is, is glossy a little glossy -er, and the other side is matte and you want to work on the matte side and I've just got a rubber stamp here of a daisy and I just thought it was get very pretty and spring-like and um, this is one of those stamps you can actually stamp an outline too but I think I'm just going to do everything right on the um, on the shadow side and I'm using watercolor markers and these are the brand spanking new Spectrum Noir Aquas and uh, this is actually the first time I've played with them I'm going to have some tutorials coming up on those but I just wanted to try it out first and I'm going to use a couple shades of pink kind of corally pink color I'm using the lightest color towards the tip I'm going to use this medium shade right below that and then I'm going to use this nice deep coral color right I'm just going to be careful not to go on top of the green but I'm going to go right up next to it and then I think I'll just kind of add a few dabs of it in there like that all right then sometimes you want to breathe like if, if you've if you're like working on a hot light and maybe you've waited a while to stamp it just just breathe on it and the your your uh, breath will add enough moisture to the stamp okay and there we've got a very pretty little flower there and if i want to do anything else to it i can use a uh, little this is a water brush but you can just take a brush and dip some water in it i can go in there and blend my colors a little bit if i want to I could also add a background like I did the other one and to do that I would just scribble the markers out on a on a stamp block and then just paint it in but I think since I have a craft tag a craft bag rather it's going to show up really well so I'm just going to leave that with a white background and I'm going to use a little paper mart baker's twine and this is uh, the strawberry color twine which I think is really nice it's um it's a little more sophisticated looking than the hot pink I love the hot pink I have that too but I just think this uh, strawberry color is really really chic looking and I think what I'll end up doing is just kind of wrap it around I don't I know my ink is probably still a little wet so I'm trying to try not to get it on the flower I'm just gonna wrap it around and tie it that way it can be removed later I'm just gonna do an overhand knot just like that and there we have it isn't that elegant I think that's such a pretty little treatment for a party favor um, for a wedding or birthday party, any sort of outdoor event too would just be lovely. I want to thank you so much for watching and thank our sponsor Paper Mart for supplying the projects, the products that we use today. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.